All right, here we are, hole nine. You can see a mon opponent here, extra mile nine. Um, you know that that's the problem with staying in the rookie. The only the only clubs that you can upgrade are tour one, two, and three. So you're stuck with extra mile for life. You're stuck with things like Malibu, Goliath. Like these are the only clubs you can use because you never progress anything else. So it is ideal to move on to pro as soon as you can if you are worried about club progression. If you want to, um, you know, get things like uh, quarterback or extra mile or, or not extra mile, um, quarterback or rock or Thor's hammer. Um, you really got to step up to that pro level in order to get some of that. Now, what I might do come weekend time is I might go with a berserker ball just to maybe get this up here just a little bit farther. However, um, I'm just gonna, you know, do it this way. Um, but as, as I mentioned, you know, the berserker would give you the added bonus if you have a couple of them in your inventory, it might be worth using one or two come weekend just to get this up here a little bit farther and not have to worry about maybe the second hop hitting the rough. I'm barely going to clear this rough. So it's not going to clear by very much. And there you can see just clears. So as a result, I'm going to be more back here. If I can get this up to here, it's a little bit more makeable. So being able to get it up an extra 20 yards is ideal, um, you know, to increase that probability of holdout but we're gonna go with what we have and as i mentioned as you can see we can still pull it off big topper is going to be ideal if you want to go kind of with the no power route you can go uh extra mile but you're never going to have the top spin you'll see that uh, i outdrove my opponent even with um even with uh you know a much less carry and uh you know, my club gets up here farther because of that extra top spin. So that's the added bonus. You'll see here, let's see where we are, kind of at about mid club, almost towards min. We're very close to min here. So I'm thinking somewhere between 3 and 3.5 per ring. Somewhere in that range for me with a thorn 3. Actually, you know what, a thorn 3, I think the accuracy is less on this. Maybe 40 accuracy instead of 50. Four and a half per ring at min. Four, so maybe four per ring, I'm thinking. So you'll see I'm going to go maybe just a fraction more than one right here. <clears throat> you can see... Barely just not enough. So I just need a point one more rings and that was in we have the double eagle uh, Very easy straightforward shot as you can see, but uh, you know, do be thinking things like that about the clubs um, You know in rookie all's we can win is uh, Tour one two or three. So looking at our clubs here, you know, that's all top-line stuff. So rocket extra mile big topper. That's it horizontal horizon um Viper, Big Dog, you know, if we ever want to start developing these Guardians, Snipers, which is stuff that I use all the time, Grizzly, B-52, um, Thor's Hammer, Rock, Quarterback, um, Thorn, Hornet, the only time I'm ever going to progress those via tournament chests are in pro tournaments or higher. So making that leap, you can see I have 2 million here, and it only costs you about maybe 100,000 to play pro. So I would, ne I would never actually play rookie with this account. Um, but what I just did is just give you the demonstration of the shots that you should be hitting. But what I would do if it was me and, um, you know, I would take this account if I was actually going to be playing this, um, I would go into the pro division with this account because it has more than enough to compete. You, you, and you can see these clubs are not that... You know, they're not that high. This is more than enough to compete in the pro division. So that's what I would personally do would be to go up into those so I can start developing those clubs farther. Because those are the those are the one the only clubs that I play with 
in the later tours. I never play with one, two, or three anything. There's essentially no exception. I'm just trying to think of anything one, two, or three that I sometimes use. Maybe a Malibu, but that's a huge maybe. I really don't use it very much because it just doesn't have the range. A machete occasionally when I need the full backspin. Um, pretty much nothing else. Uh, occasional Goliath. Real occasional. Big dog until I get Cataclysm. I'll use it on some par fives. But these are tournament specific shots that I use these, not tour play. So you don't need any of those clubs, um, you know, come tour play unless... You know, you don't, and, and that's one of the things, like you might have to use a Goliath because you're not developing these later clubs. So if you don't get to the point where you can start to upgrade that B-52 or Grizzly, you're stuck using Goliath because you need that for the for its range on specific holes. So keep all that in mind. Um, good luck with your tour progress. Uh, and hopefully this uh, tournament goes well for you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.